Guys, your friends are killing your stream. Let's talk about it. What's up everybody, welcome back to the x Villain Hideout. My name is Ghost and if you've never been here before, I'm so glad you're here. This is a place where we talk about the games we play, the lives we live, and we look for ways how to encourage each other and inspire each other to be better than we were the day before. Better than yesterday is the motto, one stream at a time, one day at a time. If you feel like you vibe with that, I would appreciate a like on the video because it'll go a long way for the channel and also subscribe to the content so you can see when we post more stuff that you might also like and hit the little bell to be notified when the videos go live. We are also on Twitch Monday through Thursday 8 a.m. PST so um, I'll see you there. Now let's get into the video. There is too many times recently where I have been in people's streams, um, some new, some I know, and People don't want to stick around because of who the person is playing with. This is a video about how your friends may be killing your stream or channel growth. We have to think about it like this. The people we play with are adding or taking away from our content. And if you're just playing games with friends and they're just everyday people who are saying everyday things, then fine. It's not really that big of a deal because people are focusing on you. But when you have friends, that are extremely toxic and are belittling the very thing that you're doing, streaming, it can actually affect your growth in a negative way. And I wanted to address this because this is something that I'm starting to see more and more and these aren't opinions. These are facts. These are things that I've witnessed myself. So you should believe me and only me. So I was in a chat for a channel and this was actually somebody I knew. And it really shocked me because this person is a great person. Um, I've known this person for a while now and I've thought to myself, wow, this is like a really good streamer. I wonder why they haven't grown. Um, they've been in a spot where they are a little bit stagnant and I haven't really seen much growth on the channel for about six months. No, I will not tell anybody who this is and I follow a lot of people so good luck trying to figure it out. But I was in this chat and I wasn't even chatting. I was just in there because I was doing something on my computer and I was lurking, but I happened to have the volume on and was listening to what was going on. And I was just in utter shock because their friends were being so toxic. Like, I'm talking like full on racist slurs and slurs against other groups of people. And it was like a constant like, you beep, why don't you beep? Oh, you're such a beep. Why are you acting so beep? Like it was so constant that, and the thing is, is the streamer that I was watching wasn't even talking that much. It was mainly their friends that you heard in Discord. And it was just crazy because I could not stand being there. Like everything in me was like, if I didn't know that person, I would have backed out right away, but I was like chilling, like what's going on? And I wanted to see how the chat was reacting to this. And I seen multiple people saying, hey, you should probably mute them. Hey, you should probably tell your friends not to talk like that. Hey, I find this offensive. Like the chat had multiple people saying that they were offended by this, that they didn't like this. And most likely they didn't stick around. I didn't see them keep talking. So they probably said something and nothing was done about it. So they just ended up leaving. But this is just crazy to me because this brings up a couple things. What it does is it makes people question who you really are because there's a proverb that says you are who you hang around. And it's very true. You're not gonna hang around people and play with people on a consistent basis who you have nothing in common with. You're gonna have a lot of things mainly in common with these people. And so what it does, even myself, I was like, man, do I even know this person? Because a lot of times we think we know people online, but you can tell a lot about who somebody is when you see them play with their friends because they're more comfortable and there's things that happen that normally maybe wouldn't happen on stream when they're with people they don't know, right? So this is just puts you into question. And not only that, but it's just offensive. It just makes people not feel safe, not feel comfortable, not feel invited. And 
it just, um, I, I just don't see anything positive about having this go on in your stream. And if this is happening in your stream and you're wondering why you're not growing, this is probably one of the main reasons. You guys need to have somewhere that is safe, that is comfortable, and that is inviting to grow your stream. And sure, there are those variables where people have niches where all they do is make fun of people and everyone else makes fun of people. But like I've said in different videos, a toxic niche is not something that you want to get involved in. Having a toxic personality is not something that you want to project out to everybody else because this is the thing. One, you have to keep that going all the time. So the times you don't feel as toxic, you still have to keep it going because that's what people are coming for. Second, people in those type of niches aren't usually there for you. They're there for the toxicity because they like seeing people get owned. They like seeing people talked bad about. They like seeing people um, suffer in a sense. I've seen people have um, niches like this that are kind of like lighthearted toxicity that's different that is like the fun toxicity right it's a little bit different I'm talking about like true toxic niche is not something that you want to partake in most likely if you are pursuing a toxic niche you're probably not watching this video because that's kind of the opposite of what I go for and a lot of the people in my community are the exact opposite of that so you could probably just discard what I just said. Some of you might be saying, well, what if I play with viewers or what if I play with people and I can't control what happens and what they say? I'm not saying to control everything that they say, but if they're saying racist slurs, if they're talking really bad about people, if they're making fun of you and your stream and all of that stuff, nobody wants to hear that. And so what I've had to do is I've had days where I've played with viewers and there was somebody that came into my chat that was really toxic. Well, what happened was we were in a competitive game, so I couldn't just leave the game or else I would have. So what I did, is I just muted them. I went into my Discord and I muted them until the game was over and then I explained that I'm gonna be playing by myself or with my friends and that's it. It wasn't nothing crazy. I didn't kick them in front of everyone to be like, screw you for talking bad about people or any of that. It was just like, all right, dude, uh, I'm gonna be playing with my friends or I'm gonna be playing by myself and they were muted as soon as they started acting crazy and that was pretty much the end of it. The other part of this is having people in your stream that aren't necessarily racist or toxic towards other groups of people, but they are constantly belittling you for your stream. Like, oh, so-and-so saying hi to another person in chat and oh, look, somebody else followed and oh, somebody subbed, they must not know how terrible you are and oh, if they really knew how much you sucked in real life and like, there's all these comments that are made and it's just like super cringe. Like you don't wanna be in that stream where their friends are constantly making fun of and they truly believe in their stream but all of your friends don't believe in your stream. So it's kinda of like you need to get new friends. Do not sit in chat with your friends who are constantly bullying you. If you think that it's funny and you think that you don't really mind it, which I will tell you, seeing this and seeing your reaction because we can watch it Every single time someone would say something negative about this person, their reaction was not that it was super funny. Their reaction was not that they were having a good time. Their reaction was like, man, I really wish that they weren't like this. That's what their face looked like. And so that comes out to us as consumers and it makes us feel angry and upset because we like your content and we like you. So when we have somebody that's like, you suck, I can't believe you're streaming and people actually watch you, you're garbage, and they're doing all this stuff, it's like, what is actually happening here? It would be to your benefit to play with people who believe in you, to um, not just sit there and chat and take hit after hit after hit because you know these people. Um, maybe you just need new friends. That's the honest truth. Maybe you need people who believe in you. Maybe you need people who will uplift you. Maybe you need people who are saying, hey man, you didn't get that kill this time, but I know you got it next time. Hey, we got this, let's get it. Maybe you need friends that are gonna say, dude, oh my gosh, you have 10 people in your stream. Usually when I see you, you have whatever, this number, or what I'm saying is like they just, they see your growth, they comment on your growth, and they tell you, man, dude, you're doing a good job. I didn't know how the streaming thing was gonna go, but it looks like you're killing it. People are coming in and supporting. Or you have those friends that are super supportive and like they're in the chat while they're playing, like shouting people out. They're maybe one of your mods. They're talking to people, hey man, how's it going? Thanks for coming by the stream. You know, so-and-so has been working really hard to get the stream going. Like those are the friends that you need. Stop hanging around with these toxic people because you feel like it's the only people you have. Join my Discord, join a bunch of other discords we have start meeting new people meet people that will encourage you and you can see that I'm kind of passionate about this because I can't stand when I see people be bullied especially when people feel like that's their only option that's not your only option you don't have to be bullied by your friends get new friends um, nobody should be treated that way and for your content to grow you need to be in an environment where you are thriving and it's really hard to thrive when the people you look up to the people that you care about 
don't care about what you're doing and really don't care about your feelings because they wouldn't be saying that stuff on a consistent basis if they did. Guys, that's the end of my rant about how your friends are destroying your channel, but it's the truth. Um, take it for what it is. I know some of this stuff that I said is gonna offend some of you um, and I'm okay with that because I would rather see you guys actually continue to grow and get people that support you than not say anything about this when I'm seeing it. So if I see something like this and I see it more than once, more than twice, more than three times, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something about it. Um, at the end of the day, it's your channel, do what you want, it's your brand, but you have to take charge of this thing. Like if you guys really wanna grow, I get message after message about how you guys wanna grow, how you guys wanna do this full time. You're never gonna be able to do something like this full time if you can't even take control of the stream you have right now with the 500 or less people you have in your channel. You just have to set clear guidelines, you have to have mods that help you out, and you need to have friends to support you. If you guys have any testimonies about circumstances like this that you've witnessed or that have happened personally to you, I would love to hear about them in the comments below. Everybody learns off of what's going on in the comments and I would love to talk to you guys down there. Pretty much all the social media that you guys will need to find me at is down below. We also have some kits made for you guys, so if you guys are just starting to stream and you don't know what to buy, we have some kits already there that you could check out and you can purchase from as well. You can even buy the whole kit or you can just buy parts of it and it would help me out and the channel as well. Go ahead and hit that like button if um, this video helped you out in any way it would go a long way for the channel um, you can subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this and hit the little bell to be notified when more videos go live and we are also on twitch Monday through Thursday we can talk more about this over there I would love to see you guys over there um, it's in the morning so make sure you bring caffeine and uh, and we'll get it <laughs> thank you guys so much for being here I hope you guys are very blessed I hope you guys have an amazing night or day depending on where you're at in the world and I will catch you on the next one peace Oh my gosh, dude, look it. I Heart Ghost is back. Does this, do these people have nothing better to do than to sit here and watch you play video games, which you suck at, you know what I'm saying? Like, look at all these people coming in. Hey, how are you today? Who really cares, bro? Like, oh my gosh, you suck, bro. You're never gonna make it in streaming. Nobody likes your stuff. I don't even understand why there's people in here right now. Hey, you guys, go somewhere else. He sucks. <laughs> oh my gosh, you know what I'm saying, ghost? Ghost? Ghost, you know what I'm saying, right? Ghost? Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I know what you mean. <laughs>